what they're trying to do is they're trying to repurpose waste into carbon for agriculture using a magic box. So these are the two things, uh, the two problems that we solved. The first one is waste, and the second one is agriculture. In the context of waste, Jakarta alone created over 8,000 tons of waste per day. That's equivalent to 800 super big trucks running around in all of Jakarta. Uh, and this caused like this uh, waste collection distribution, as well as we cannot process all of these waste that's created, making it be in landfill, open burning, and all of the environmental damage. The second one, our farmers in Asia are struggling the productivity due to the continuous use of chemical fertilizers as well as pesticides. So, but what if there's actually a magic box that could convert all waste into material that is using very low amount of energy and no pollution, right? So introducing our magic box. So this, we use heat radiation to convert waste into carbon. So carbon, not carbon dioxide, but physical solid carbon, activated carbon. And we do all of this uh, like in, in a zero, zero waste way. So basically this is how it works. Waste, any, any kinds of waste, organic and organic, goes into our machine. We have a process and an output of uh, carbon and other materials comes out. So technologically, this is how it works. So imagine a rice cooker. I don't. I know we don't eat rice here, but basically we use heat radiation. Like the water vapor will steam up, and then there's rice. You leave it long enough, it will be dry. You leave it long enough, it's gonna become carbon. Right. So similar technology, in scientific term, we call it pyrolysis and gasification. Two things that's impossible to combine because they're using two different temperature uh, levels. So the reason why we could do it is because you have a secret sauce that is invented by my dad, which is a biocatalyst that could enable this process. So the difference between our technology as well as the current ones available in the market are incinerators burn waste. They create carbon dioxide. They use a lot of energy and a lot of fuel. We don't, right? On second type, it's like plastic recycling. They only take a certain type of waste where we can take any kinds of waste without the need of any pre-processing previously because all the separation will happen inside the magic box via the of temperature. So we use this output that we create from uh, our process and we put it back into agriculture, into our soil. So this is an example of the story of Kang Ipit, which is one of beneficial partner uh, farmers. So they complain that their productivity lowers down by 20% just the past two years, right? So we put carbon in and their productivity increased by 40%. So we also use our technology to reduce the damage of palm oil, which I know Europeans hate, right? Because of the certification program. But so what we do is we convert all of the, all of the palm oil waste, EFB, and also all of the repl replantation waste when we cut down the trees into carbon so we can plant more agri agriculture commodities. So these are key tractions so far. We've put 15 machines all the way in Asia, seven provinces. We've been around for the past three years. Uh, and these are the impacts that we've delivered so far today. So, but it's not all magic, because these are the challenges that we're facing at the moment. It's new technology, and the one that's regulated now is only incineration. Imagine if you could break this technology and then deploy this sol as a solution all over the world. That's the first one. Second, it's also challenging to build trust and reputation since it's a new technology that we need to deploy. And of course, lastly, is financing. So we are, we've been bootstrapping for the past three years and we've uh, found proper market fit. We've doubled our revenue every year for the past three years. We're raising two funds, 500K for equity to build a bigger automated facility and also $6 million uh, for a 22 agri waste projects. So if you are interested in converting the world waste and put it back into our soil so we will have more food to eat, like I invite you to come talk to me after this session and see how we can collaborate together. With that, thank you so much.